my god! Of Jericho. Drink it in, man. Do you want to start court with me?
What's up, everyone? Welcome officially now. We are live. I hope you enjoyed the pre-show. It is episode 289, as you can see here. <clears throat> the Gold Rush Tournament. It is time for Cross here to officially hand over one of these individuals, one of these top eight contenders, the championship belt. And, of course, congratulations. Hey, Shark <laughs> Thank you for the follow. And let's kick things off with our first contest here. Irob versus T-Shot. Again, everyone, welcome. It's Nitro Night, episode 289. Why is it Nitro Night? Well, again, for very one very special reason. And that is because 289 is a number that WCW never achieved with Monday Night Nitro. See, they only produced 288 episodes. So now you guys are all a part of history. We together as a community have achieved more episodes and content creation than WCW Monday Nitro. That's right, pat yourselves on the back. We did this together. So thank you guys for your continued support. Thank you. 
And make sure you get your votes in. Exclamation point match one. I Rob T Shot. The eight contenders here will be competing for the belt that Cross is going to hand over in the main event here tonight. As he said, he will be presenting that title here, walking down with it around his waist to present to the champion here at the conclusion of this tournament for Nitro Night. So buckle up and let's see who is going to walk out as champion. And again, shout out to Nicole, new NEW Women's Champion. Crowned right here on the free show. The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Weighing in at 192 pounds. Was he? Rob Reynolds. Are you sure? We'll have to check the bracket. Yeah, the truck messing everything up. That's what they do best. The yeah, in-game should be uh, adjusted now. Let me know if it's not. <laughs> uh, the truck messing everything up. What's up, Sharpshooters? How are you today? Glad to have you joining us here. It's our 289th episode. If you want to be part of the action every single week. And if you have 2K19, or if you even don't have it, you can join us. Somebody will create the character for you and upload it on Xbox Community Creations under hashtag NAW. MX says, I'm not buying this tournament. I mean, it's written right in front of our faces. What's not to buy here? I'm uh, confused by the confusion. I'm just excited we're going to crown a new champion for once. We ended on a positive on Tuesday for Thunder Night. If you missed that show, go back and check it out. And uh, I'm hoping to continue that momentum. The foundation is crumbling in front of our eyes. I'm excited for the beginning of the end for all of them. Did I appreciate your compliment? Which was it? The good things are by me, is that what you said? I'm trying to recall. My mic? Can you hear me now? Is it better? I didn't do anything different. My balance is weird. That's weird. I didn't adjust anything. Let me know if that's better. I didn't adjust anything. Hey, you know. Yeah, let me know if that's better for you guys. What do you mean he's not in the tournament? Are you certain? Because pretty sure he was in the tournament. Uh, we'll check the brackets after this match. Yeah, I just don't know if you missed him or what is what happened there. Again, this is our first contest. Elimination rules if you're unfamiliar with how a tournament works. If you lose your match, you're out of the tournament. Winners advance. And uh, this is a CPU CPU interactive league where you guys get to flex your creativity, sharpshooter. And we do this every single Tuesday and Thursday. Yeah, Sanchez, we'll, we'll make sure to check after this match because I'm fairly certain that you are in the tournament bracket. But hey, you never know. Could be wrong. Check the gain on this bad boy, huh? Maybe that's the issue. Need some more gain. Get them gains. Chip gains. All right. Ready says, I believe you're in match three, so that could be the case. Uh, again, we'll be sure and certain to check that out after this one. Uh, let me know if the balance is still kind of wonky, if it's too loud, too quiet, or what. T-Shot here in control of this match. This is, of course, Blood Cage Rules. What does that mean? Let me tell you. What's the stipulation on these crescent cages? Great, great to ask. You see something about Blood Cage. So you beat me to the punch, so... 
the blood cage is the first to basically make the other bleed. Uh, once you make your opponent bleed their own blood, you become the winner of such match. So that is how it works. Big right hand from T-Shot there, and a nice drop kick. That was a signature move from the Hall of Famer, hopefully soon to be Hall of Famer, Seth. You guys don't remember him. You guys weren't watching. Off the steel cage structure, there's Irob. Sanchez says, my girl Tiffany Colt won the Women's NEW Championship. I got to win championship, do or die tonight. Will tonight be Colt's night once again? The tetanus shot, I sure hope so. That cage is nasty. And if you're gonna bleed, you're gonna be in trouble. Again, winners will advance, losers are out. NEW Championship at the end of this thing being presented by Adrian Cross. Yes, this is a, a league or a fed or whatever you want to call it. Cross didn't have enough funding for safety. Yeah. And busted open there is T-Shot. I-Rob advancing into the second round of the tournament with that win. And MX, you might be right in your assumptions here. Cross might be up for some shadiness. As his wording says, he was personally going to pre be presenting the championship to someone here tonight. Uh, whatever that means. I don't know if I like that. Uh, what is the uh, fad? Uh, basically, we create these characters and then we wrap storylines like television around them to uh, create a continuing story arc or storyline from episode to episode. Um, just like a wrestling program you would see on TV. That's an easy way to describe it. Here is your winner. Points for some there. You guys cheering down the I Rob. I'm actually guaranteeing some shadiness. Well, that's fine because there is someone watching tonight. I've asked them to watch the show personally. And uh, that individual is the DNA executive that I've been speaking with recently. So the. The individual, Mr. DNA, if you will. Uh, the DNA executive. And there you go. Colt, you're, you're up there. You're in the third match, so you are in this. All right, second match, exclamation point, match two, if you're voting along. Caleb from the Dosage Podcast against the Prophet here. Oh, the executive I apparently found. I did find an executive. So um, they're personally watching the show this evening. And if there is any sort of shadiness, the executive will be arriving next week to address such. So Cross, be on your best behavior tonight. I recommend it. Because that would be for the greater good of Gnaw and your continued employment. <laughs> See, you say the house always wins? Well, not with the hand that I have. Trust me, not with the hand I have. Get your votes in, though, now. Match two, Caleb, the prophet. Exclamation point, match two. The executive doesn't exist, and you and MX are high on yourselves because of one lucky net. Please! Please, I beg you, do something. Do something tonight, okay? I beg of you. Let's head down. We're, we're city hopping for this tournament, apparently. That's the thing that's happening. We're in LA now. I have five. I'm not telling. Why would I tell my the hand? Following contest you don't is tell your hand. Steel cage match. Making his way to the ring. Runs From Ann Arbor, Michigan. Weighing in at 200. And that's true. MX is right. Caleb. What Kennedy. did you do exactly in your own match? Go back and watch it. Because uh, I'm pretty sure it was nothing. 
Caleb here making his return to action. Did you miss what? I'm confused. Cody being told to go away. I'm, I'm confused. You think you know me? Anyways, making their return to action here is the Prophet. And his opponent, from Valhalla, weighing in at 327 pounds, the Judge. Oh, I see, I see. What, well, Becca can't aspire to be like somebody else? What's wrong with that? And Max, it's okay. It's okay. They don't understand. Cheers to everybody for episode 289 here. Glad to be hanging out with you guys on this snowy Thursday night for us here. Hope you guys are doing all right. Trevor, I hope you're driving safe. And you got, you're going slow on the road. Barbecue spare ribs. What is everyone having for dinner? I'm drinking peach tea, and it's peachy. I love peach. You know, I saw it go by, you you ran into a something. What did you do? You drove off the road? Great at drinking beach tea. See great minds, they think alike. Pizza and beer. That's a good Thursday. I had some uh, wraps with Gouda cheese. And it was very good. So anyone watching the big game this Sunday? If so, what are your snacks or beverages that you're picking up for the game? Me slid out the road completely and wrecked someone's mailbox and newspaper box and got stuck in the jeez. That's a federal offense. But in all reality, I hope they're okay. And uh, that sucks. Trevor got sushi. I'm super jealous for that. I love sushi. The end says, if we did not give a damn, we would have been in every title match since we took over. We did not touch MX's pay-per-view like he assumed we would. I mean, this facts. It was fair and square. Tournaments are giving different people a chance to win gold. How is that unfair? I mean, the end. I hate to agree with the end. Um, you, you are a goon of the cross. Um... There is less resentment towards you. Because you're probably just being brainwashed, to be honest. Homemade buffalo chicken dip, that sounds great. Making burger broth, roasted corn, bacon wrapped peppers with cream cheese, that sounds really good too. Oh, clothesline missed there by Caleb Prophet rolls out of the way. If it was MX and Rady who took control, now the show would be dead. Damn, crosses the end of this tournament tonight because he is presenting the title. All we want is strong and determined people to reign enough. And that is what was written on the paper, so. I did, comics. I did. What are you going to do? Fire me? Come on. Deviled eggs. Yum. What team is everyone rooting for? I'm not a sports guy, but I'm just curious. Misses the kick there. Caleb... Catching the Prophet off guard. Go Bucks is right. They're in their own stadium too. How cool, huh? First time ever. Devil A's in the love language? No. You're only as good as your greatest match, Cross, and I saw your latest match. I had the best seat in the town for that one, my friend. So yeah, sure, call me cocky, call me confident, call me whatever you want, but you won't be calling me unemployed. He's the Prophet him. picking up a win over Caleb Prophet advances. Day, 
the mega cut. <laughs> I mean, in all honesty, the uh, a sharpshooter, my character is not competing tonight. Um, but tune in next Tuesday and hopefully they'll get booked in a match. And if you want, we'd love to have your character make their debut if you want to be part of the show. So here's the thing a lot of wrestling fans get upset if it's the same champions as champion, right? How come you guys aren't getting upset when it's the same teams in the Super Bowl or championship games every year? Weird. I feel those go hand in hand and should be having the same uh, upset winner. values. But who am I? Two points for Ty so far. Good night so far for you. Make up my mind. My mind is made up. Ah. Ross is still kind of confused by all the bright lights. Packers are screwed. That's uh, my sister-in-law's team. She feels they should have went too. All 32 teams. Tony, did you watch uh, Tuesday? Because everybody on the roster had a chance at this tournament. So, or are you talking about just pro wrestling in general? Wrestling is predetermined. It's not fake. Exclamation point, match three. Colt, Kevin, get your votes in now. Football is earned. No, football is predetermined. <laughs> it really is. Oh, I'm very much of worth, comics. Small minds just don't see it. Match three, though. Colt, you are in it. Hope you're here. Versus Kevin. Who will advance to round two? There you go. Go sports team. But he's refusing to vote tonight. So here's, here's a fun thing. Um... Go that, I like that Make you're making a, a statement. Point. The month of February, the prize at the end of this month for the top voter leads into March Madness. And what is March Madness? The first four shows of March are booked by the top vote winner. So, okay, I'm glad you lied because the top vote winner of the month of February will get to book the first show of March. The top vote winner or winners will then book the next show and that'll continue for the first four shows in March for Fan Appreciation Month. March Madness. Voters this time, not bit donators, voters. Of course, the top bit donator will book the Hall of Fame pay-per-view in March. Making his way to the ring from Hartford, Connecticut, weighing in at 200. So remember that. The unpredictable Alexander Alexander Colt returning to action here tonight with determination to walk out with the NEW Championship just like Tiffany Colt did earlier on tonight. Fire. Do not have my emotes on. Uh, Why did that not work? Weird. Yeah, I might have to. There it goes. We're good. Thank you, MX, for testing and confirming. And his opponent. That face. From Ann Arbor, Michigan, weighing in at 400 There we go. Pounds. I don't know why the Kevin fire one didn't work. Miller. Maybe it's because the fire one's not an emo. So 
one half of the Millers, the good half. Looking to advance in the tournament here. And eat W. There you go. Nothing but love. Here we go. Blood Cage continues our third match of the night. Colt just standing there. Let's Kevin. Straight up just power bomb him. Sit down, power bomb. No smiles, no show. We did not get an episode of the Smile Show tonight. I'm sad for that. Colt back standing here. Kick to the midsection. And Kevin setting up another for Colt. Rough start here. Colt very disappointed in chat with his performance so far. Again. Oh my God, it continues. Colt asking what is going on off the ropes. DK is saying yes, he wants Colt to be assaulted. And it continues. A big right hand dropping him. Now Kevin destroying Colt in this match. You can't say Kevin do another one. He loves it. He's loving it. This, I don't think I've seen DK this happy in a minute. Our time is getting assaulted, but make it a musical. <laughs> oh, the right hand misses there. Belly to belly. Down he goes. Colt says something is up. Is this cross manipulating things? Rated voting after three finishes. Oh no, Kevin looking to climb the cage, but why? Oh, elbow to the groin. Colt, I am so sorry. By the shirt. Oh, goes down low. Payback is a bitch. <laughs> DK calling out Ray for cheating. Jawbreaker reversal. Knee to the face. Kevin in trouble now. Colt in control of the match. He has finally recovered. We'll see if it's too late though. Kevin down into the mat there. Elbow to the back of the head. Colt setting something up for Kevin here. The Colt effect, as he calls it. Down again he goes. Will he recover? Nobody knows. Getting amped up here is Colt going up. What is he doing? And a splash from the top. Kevin doesn't have a finish that targets the face, making it harder to bloody his opponent. And oh my! The pure strength from Colt here. He is on display with tonight. And setting up another Colt effect. Bloody's Kevin, and Colt advances to round two. Here are some highlights of that match. Ray, very pleased with the changing of his vote. Felt very happy in chat. Oh, that low blow though, I don't know about that. And again, a reminder, the most votes, correct votes, the prize this month 
you get to kick off March Madness. So the first four shows of March will be booked by one of you. So don't miss a vote, don't miss a show this month. So will Coach's dream come true again tonight? We'll find out. Do I like hot Cheetos? They're good. Jax and Lee Yamashita. The final match for round one, exclamation point match four. If you're voting. Jax or Lee Yamashita. Get your votes in now. Cody says that you missed some already. That's a great question. What is Jack's finish? Who will advance? <laughs> Wait, didn't you make Jax? He doesn't know. He forgot. MX said this should be an easy vote. Lee wanting to advance to prove to Cross that he is a champion. So get your votes in now. This is the end of the first round. Cross trying to figure out who Lee Yamashita still is. Didn't you sign him to a contract? I mean, can you? You tied? Can you complete the legs? Why did I know if anyone was going to go there, it was going to be DK? Trying to decipher race. that uh, message by Ty there. Weighing in at 227 pounds, the Anarchist. Anyways, Jack's returning to action here. We saw him advance with his big win on Tuesday. There he goes. It was real quick all of a sudden. Uh, he advanced on Thunder two nights ago. Go check out that episode, our tribute to WCW Thunder, the proper tribute. Uh, if you guys were around during the early days, I tried to do one of those stupid filters, and it was not a good episode. You don't check inbox because I'm, I'm horrible at checking my DMs. MX says, Lee's a good friend of mine from the Indies, but his in ring style is going to make it hard for him to win this. Let's find out. Wow, that effect is just destroying my resolution right now. Yeah, that one was, like, significantly bad, though.
do you guys think about uh, the change back to his old music? You guys liking that? Personally, I like that music. Tony says you're glad he's got his old theme back. I like the new theme, or that theme. But they're both good. Jax here starting off the aggressor in this match. Again, this is the last of the first round. Winners of the first round will begin next competing in the final four. Uh, yes, DK. Yeah, I will. I'll do that. Since we've already seen them all. It only seems logical. The part's supposed to drive the show over most nicely because it's late tonight. I won't be dealing with it until tomorrow. Else. Cross is going to judge the profit if that keeps up, man. You don't want to piss off Cross, profit. The original is good, and yeah, I agree with Locke on that sentiment. Lee here in control of the match now. Who is going to advance to the final four on this one? And Mike says Lee's got three submissions and a wear down as his specials. He's not winning this. Working on the right arm now, as MX mentioned, the wear down style. It's true, it did not say where you had to bleed from. It's true. Left buttocks. Lotus, thanks for the host. Welcome to Nitro Night, episode 289 here. Glad to have you. Again, don't forget to host, you guys. Easy way to get strands. And it is one of the things that I have been speaking with the DNA executive on was bringing back redemptions as indeed turning them off is an abuse of power and a form of manipulation. So we are working on legal paperwork to have that turned back on for you all soon, as well as nerd cred redemptions. Yeah, abuse of power, Storm. That is exactly what happened. The Foundation turned them off after stripping everyone in their championship at the Royal Rumble. And again, I am working with DNA executives as they own NAW and the Foundation to have that turned back on for you guys. I am fighting, but I have to go through proper paperwork, for one, so I don't lose my job, and two, to make sure they lose theirs. Bloodied by Jax is Lee Yamashita. Jax advances here. Comic says, Law and Evil Boss, I am making my employees earn their ways to titles. I dare I make them prove themselves instead of cashing in. Drink water, yes. Drink water. 4 0 for Ty. What a hell of a night so far. Three and one for I, Rob. So we're heading into the final four now. Who will advance to the finals for the vacant NEW championship? Here is your winner. Anarchy. 
Dolph says, there's my opponent right there. 200 bit donation from Sly. Hip hip hooray, thank you for that. Again, the winner of the donations of this month will be booking the Hall of Fame in March. That's the problem, Grab. Not only do people not understand the vision, they have been given handouts by me for so long. They have gone soft and forgotten how to hunt. Well, damn. Do you guys believe that? I made you guys soft? Does cross make you hard? Moving on in the tournament here, the final four about to begin. Uh, yeah. See, these are things that uh, people clip and make ringtones of, and uh, that's a problem. That's a problem. Big, big doo doo. Big doo. I Rob the Prophet, match five. For those voting along here, the winner will advance into the finals of the vacant NEW. <laughs> I'm actually welcome. Here we go, heading down to the ring for this matchup. Who will advance, the Prophet or I Rob? Hopefully, you got your votes in. Big kick to start things off. The Prophet amped up on something. He, he did, MX, he did. Another big kick there for the Prophet. He's setting up IROB here. IROB is not doing well. This is what was that, three moves? Okay. Uh, the three moves of Doom are back, apparently. The individual that created that. No oh, Man. The Prophet wants to put this in the face of Cross so badly that he just walked right through IROB. Congrats. Well, who will advance to face the Prophet in the finals? Get your votes in now. Exclamation point match six. Alexander Colt or Jax? Who will face the Prophet? Escalate annoy. It just straight up ended. Ended quickly. <laughs> Do I smell what the rock is cooking? It kind of smells like bullshit is happening right now. That's right, MX. Here we go. Sidesteps the kick from Jax. Colt into the Colt effect. Down goes Jax. The smell on what? No, I made it today. We're good today. It's Thursday. We bathe on Thursdays. We're good today. Tomorrow, I don't know. Colt down, rated. Jax, excuse me, giving away who you are. We all know that. Jax here. Oh, nice driver there, yeah. Rated's character, Jax. Other character. <laughs> who has running water? What are you guys talking about? I broke K Fit there. I'm not sorry. Up and down goes Jax. Both here determined to advance. This match has already lasted longer than the one prior. So that's a positive. Hopefully we don't see another squash like that in this tournament. Colt off the rope. Elbow to the spine. Like, like, walks, the water walks. 
You see them walking on the wall? I'm confused. Colt setting up Jax for another Colt effect here. Colt advances as he takes out Jax. We're headed to the finals, baby. The Prophet versus Alexander Colt for the vacant NEW Championship. Who will Cross be presenting the title to? Colt wanting to make up rules on the spot. <laughs> A two out of three. I don't think we can change that at this point in the tournament. Here is your winner, the unpredictable. Four and two for Batman. The exclamation point match seven. Either Colt or the Prophet. Who are you guys voting for? Two out of three first blood? How would that work if you're already bleeding? The match The match wouldn't end then. Because once you're busted open, can you be busted open again? Yeah, I don't know if that's a thing. <laughs> this is match seven. Get your votes in for match seven. There is no match eight. The finals of the NEW Championship Tournament. Who will advance? Colt with a big spear right off the bat to the Prophet. Prophet here, waiting for Colt to stand. Boot dropping Colt. Elbow to the face of Colt here, and a right. The Prophet just insulting now. Nice leapfrog exchange there. Getting your steps in tonight, Prophet. And again. Uh, can we do one more, though? Oh, exhausted. The Prophet needs to work on his stamina. Combination strikes here. Colt could be advancing as your new. NEW champion in just mere moments. Prophet, though, trying to fight through all of that, regaining his composure here. Sanchez cheering on Colt, just one more win. Can he do it? Mounted strikes, Prophet on fire. Will he be crowned the new NEW champion? Begging for Colt to stand. Turns around, crowns him. The Prophet is your winner. Colt disappointed in their performance. Comics not impressed with the double axe handle victory. We will await now Adrian Cross presenting the title, bringing it out personally for the profit. Cross getting ready backstage. He says he's on his way to present the championship. The Prophet wanting to judge Cross for all he has done wrong. 
and he gets the opportunity to as Comics, aka Adrian Cross here, will come out and present the belt. Colt says, I'll get the championship match soon. And yes, if you're voting, match eight as Cross is confirming he is not simply just handing over the belt. The Prophet must earn it by defeating him for the championship. Exclamation point, match eight. Prophet or Cross, get your votes in now. This is your main event of Nitro Night. Lux, it's a good thing I don't trust management not to not try and throw a twist at us. And then the bot is as ready for this match as I am. Trevor, I've been here. You just can't see it because it's below camera. Ross is like Ric Flair. It just bleeds. Get your votes in yet? Exclamation point! Match eight. This is a bonus. Cross giving you guys an extra match to vote on, and it is all going towards the prize of getting to book the first show of March for March Madness here in NAW. You don't want to miss that opportunity, especially uh, if you're an individual that hasn't been donating or can't donate. We want to reward the viewers that just show up and vote for us. And the first four shows of March are dedicated to those individuals. We appreciate you. Make sure you guys get your votes in and vote well. I'm being silent. right now as we're going to do a dosage podcast and the drawing will take place during that episode once we confirm a date we'll post and create an event invite on facebook and invite you guys we're eyeballing it uh possibly next week the house uh, most likely the week after Ask 
Gasterisk, 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 you. <laughs> they only made 17 of them, but I got four of them at launch. Introducing the challenger <laughs> from Valhalla, F this guy weighing in stuck. at 327 pounds, the judge. The judge, the prophet here, here to finally shut down the foundation. Introducing the champion from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 260 pounds. He is the heavyweight Ooh. champion. Cross out here carrying the belt Adrian. like he is the champion. The title is vacant. He is out here to award the champion. But Cross, you are not the champion. A confused man, I tell you. That poor guy. They only made 17 Xboxes. Oh, lock. Oh, a reversal. The Prophet there. Could the Prophet win this thing? Starting off very well. Take to the midsection. Double axe handle. Tearing down his opponent. Off the steel cage. The Prophet reeling here. And a clothesline to follow. Cross standing in control of the Prophet. They get all titled, bunch of lies. No, that happened, unfortunately. But Sly, I'm fighting for that to end. I'm fighting for this whole foundation thing to be over. Much like you, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of his face. I'm sick of everything. Cross with a stomp to the oh my! The prophet slapping Cross there. I don't know how the prophet didn't get busted open there. Thankfully, he did not in this matchup. It continues here with hope for us all. With any strike across the face, could in all oh, prophet just shoving Cross down. Cross body. Mounted strike, come on! He's threatening him with that strike. They're rolling out of the way as Cross. And in the corner, Prophet continues his assault. Stomping him out now. Arm drag, take down. Cross back in control of this one. Profit back in the back and forth on this. Any strike could end this match. Knee to the face, oh. Still alive, still in this. Oh no! He is not bleeding. Match continues. Elbow strike there, Prophet exhausted after enduring three victories tonight. Look at that, Prophet feeling fantastic. Cross is in trouble. Prophet could be our end. Oh, reverse there, stuffed that takedown attempt. Sucks. That's all right.
but like I said, I had a meeting with the DNA executive there watching this, and I will be following up with him and reporting back on Tuesday. This is far from over. I refuse. I refuse, comic. I'm not taking a screenshot of this bullshit. I refuse. Fire me. Tuesday. Trust me. Tuesday. You better show up to work Tuesday, Cross. Enjoy the belt. This is the beginning of the end. Refuse. Nope. You know what I will do? I will just turn it off. Now what kind of control do you have? I just turned you off. Come Tuesday, the DNA executive will have paperwork to turn off the foundation. Basically, the only way to describe you, Cross, and it's so fitting, is this. See you next Tuesday. Yeah.